number one so let's just say step one <coughs> step one is do what leaders tell you Jean-Serge Gagnon here and today we're going to talk about why is the reverse social prospecting formula the best way to find hot leads and you know what is the reverse social prospecting formula we're going to get to that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets. That's right, the reverse social prospecting formula. So RSPF for short. So the it's kind of like, you know, your backwards way of doing things that is a little different than what you're used to, but quite similar. And we're going to get to that. We're going to explain what it is why is it better and how does it work all right so before we do that of course I want to remind you if you're listening to the audio of this you're going to want to go check out the video at cis506.jsgagnon.com because I'm going to be sharing my screen and you want to see all of it so let's get to it let's go and talk about what is this all about okay so I actually have my on my screen here I'm in Facebook right so I mean obviously we're talking about Facebook mostly you can you can kind of use this process on other platforms as well but the idea is similar but Facebook is definitely a lot easier to do that so let me just go and let's look at this okay so this is all about why is reverse social prospecting formula the best way to find hot leads now to answer that we need to understand the process to find hot leads so we're going to go into that what is the process so but before again you know we got to make sure everything's defined clearly so you understand exactly what I'm talking about so we're not communicating the wrong thing so also so you know whether you want to watch this or not keep going so what's a hot lead in this context right so a hot lead is someone who knows and trusts you and is willing whoops is willing to buy something from you if it's useful to them all right so I mean anybody can buy something from you but if they don't think it's useful to them they're not going to buy it also if they don't know and trust you they're probably not going to be interested in your sales pitch right so you they have to be like a hot lead is somebody who knows who you are so they've seen you online they've seen your stuff they kind of know what you're about they know you know what you sell they know what it can do for them and they are willing to buy something from you once they you know feel that it's something that'll help them right so part of part of the process of um, getting a hot lead is getting them to know you getting them to be interested know what you sell know all that stuff right so I mean I've talked about this a lot in lots of other previous posts but I kind of wanted to get into the really nitty-gritty simple ABC kind of what is this right so now how do, how does someone how does someone become a hot lead right so that's I mean we need to be able to explain how does somebody become a hot lead right so it's it's a process right and this is one of the things that you need to do as an online marketer you gotta get you gotta I, you know I don't like using the word get but you you gotta find a way to to allow your prospect to navigate through the process that turns them into a hot lead in other words they need to get to know you and all those things right so how does some somebody become a hot lead right so number one they see your stuff whoops they see your stuff uh, online so if we're talking about like Facebook let's just say they see your stuff on Facebook new whoops not yeah F -O -F -A, Facebook news feed um, number two they see it more often so they see your stuff on on the news feed so they become let's let's say so basically uh, so they now um know you ex 
exist let's say right so they they go from having no clue who you are right they they've never heard of you they don't even know that you even exist to knowing that you exist so that's the first step they got to know that you exist right so then they see your stuff they see your stuff let's put your stuff again here your stuff more often in newsfeed oh or elsewhere and we're going to get into that in a minute but let's say they see your stuff more often in newsfeed and start whoops and start whoops start to like you now why do they start to like you if they don't like you that's fine they don't worry about it they you know not everybody's gonna like you but they start to like you because they relate to whatever you're creating right they either relate to your content because I don't know you post pictures of your kids so they have kids they think your kids are cute just like their they like their you know their kids are cute so they see other kids and or maybe they like um they like nature they like to go out for walks and you're posting pictures of that so they start to like you right because they relate to the content you're creating right so then they start to like you because they relate to what you're creating right what you're posting number three they see your stuff they see your stuff even more even more in newsfeed right and on other places like I said we'll talk about it and they feel they can trust you so why does this happen right why does like I mean just think about advertisements right advertisements if you see that see the advertisement once you're like oh okay well you know great whatever it is great product great whatever it is right but if you keep seeing that advertising over and over and over you're automatically going to start to like it and potentially want it especially if it's something that is useful to you right say uh well I'm not going to go into an example you can think of anything right if you see an ad and often enough you're automatically going to feel like you want it that's just that's just how marketing works that's why advertising is a repeat thing it's not just once right and that's not you know it's not your fault that's just how it is that's how our brains work when we see things often enough we automatically navigate this process we go from not not knowing to knowing then to starting to like it then to start to feel we can trust you why do we feel that we can trust something that we've seen lots and it's like that's you know that's kind of a question right why do we feel we actually can like or trust I mean <laughs> a person that we see a lot it's just how we're wired if we see somebody often enough and they keep saying the same message or a similar message and they're not diverging from that right we automatically start to feel that we can trust them because they, they they're not saying opposite things right so if you if you've got somebody who's posting about all sorts of different things you're and they start to sell one thing then you know next month they start to sell something else next month they start to sell something else you're not really going to trust that person because they're going from one thing to the other and and in your mind you know as a human you're going to be like oh well if if he's selling this thing now the last thing he sold was just for a month so why would I trust that this thing is going to be good right it's going to be another month he's going to sell something else so why would I bother right so you've got to be consistent automatically our brain is going to be is going to do that so it's got to be consistent and that's you that's how they get to be a hot lead now at this point uh they become they become a hot lead right they become a hot lead because now they know you they like you and they trust you and they are willing potentially to buy something from you because they because they got to that point right so that's kind of how it works all right okay so now what are the steps they must go through actually that's kind of what I just covered here right so they have to go through the process of uh they they must go from not knowing you to knowing you exist then from you knowing you exist to liking you is that how you spell it I don't think so liking I don't know do you put is there an either anyways I should ask Alexa or something right no, uh, to liking you and then then from liking you right from liking you to oh no I'm gonna have to write that word again liking you to trusting you 
-hmm. right so these are they kind of have to go through that process so how do you make them go through that process you're going to see like we're talking about here seeing your stuff on Facebook newsfeed right so how does that work right so what makes them go from one step to the other it's kind of what I explained there but why does that happen right why does it happen because they those um how does that how can I explain that so what makes them go from one step to the other is because they are exposed they're becoming they're getting exposed to you they because they are getting exposed to you and your offer okay so what does that mean so every time you see an advertisement for a particular product that's an exposure right if you see that product in the shelf at a store that's another exposure that's two exposures if you drive by a billboard and you see that same product that's a third exposure every time somebody talks to you about the product it's another exposure exposures are you know being well exposed to something it doesn't mean about it doesn't mean you know it means just you're you know noticing it right so uh, in social media what that means is you know somebody sees a post of yours somebody sees your Facebook profile somebody goes to your page somebody sees your uh, comment on their post somebody sees you in their notifications all those are exposures so each each time so basically somebody for somebody to go through these processes right to go through these processes they need to have a certain number of exposures like when somebody sees you the very first time in the news feed if they don't see you again for a week they'll definitely have forgotten about you right there unless it was really really an amazing thing that they never seen anywhere else and they really got affected by it chances are they're not going to remember who you are that's why you need to be posting all the time right we'll talk about the whole process but the reverse social prospecting formula is about taking advantage of these things but in a way that isn't what is taught and we'll get to that in a second but I just want to make sure we're clear and we understand all these different things right so they're getting exposed to you and your offer each time they get exposed they let, let's just say they get points they get trust points let's call these trust points okay so each so one point isn't enough to go to the next step right let's say these are steps right let's say we talk about these are steps right becoming they know you exist and then they start to like you let's say it takes I don't know it, and this is uh, going to be different from one person to the next it's also going to be different depending on what kind of content you have everything else but let's just say it takes I don't know 10 points or 10 exposures to like you right so how does how does that work let's say uh, suppose it takes 10 points exposures for someone to whoops someone to like you okay let's suppose it takes what well, there's no d here let's suppose it takes 10 exposures which means they have to see so they have to um see your post and then feed they have to see you in a message they have to see you in a notification they have to see you in a comment on their post you know all sorts of different ways that on social media would be considered an exposure so they have to see you and uh, like that so now also also suppose it takes uh whoops to know you exist actually it's yeah it takes let's say it takes 10 points exposures to for someone to know to to remember you exist right now they don't necessarily like you at that point they might but let's just say it takes 10 more 10 more points for someone to like you right now let's also suppose it takes another 10 10 or more points for someone to trust you okay so 
let's assume that that's true now uh, like I said the numbers are not uh, science it's not precise it's based on the personality based on you based on the kind of content you have based on them based on all sorts of different things but let's just assume um, you know this is kind of average right so that means that at, that means that after 30 exposures whoops they would trust you <laughs> isn't that like anyways and you're gonna see why that's so amazing like I mean obviously it could be more than 30 it could be less than 30 it could be you know <coughs> double that 10 times that I don't really know it's really like I said it really depends on who it is it depends on you your target market what your offer is who they are all those things right but that is kind of true no matter what any leaders tell you now I'm not saying the number here right but it's kind of true that as people get exposed to you they naturally navigate or you know grow in their num in their likes and trust of you right automatically that's just that's just how it is so now now before we actually get to the reverse social prospecting formula what it what that actually is let's talk a little bit about what leaders are telling you to do right and leaders are telling you to do things that actually very exactly follow that process right so what are they telling you to do? they tell you to post every day post every day right they tell you to comment on other people's posts other people's posts now I I you know said this many many times but this is just how it is they tell you they also tell you to reply to comments on your posts now wh why do you need why do you think you need to do that right so if you post every day you're basically creating content and posting it on, on say on Facebook right if you comment on other people's and oh yeah so by posting every day and you know everything else being equal your post would be seen by people on their news feed so that would be an exposure to you and if they see your post every single day then you know after 20 or 30 days they would be exposed to you whatever the number we said here right uh, obviously that doesn't work like that Facebook won't show your post to everybody and all those things right but let's just say that that's that but still the premise is the same you should be posting every day because some of the some of your friends some of your connections will see your post right now commenting on other people's posts is done for two separate probably more than two but let's just say two major reasons number one that's other exposure that person that sees your comment on their post is exposed to you so they are exposed to you your profile picture and potentially your sense of humor or whatever it is that you're posting whatever the comment is right that's another exposure to you right then when you reply to comments on your post that means the person saw you they commented on your post I mean it's not you but your post and you they commented on your post and then now they're going to see a reply to their comment from you so that's like three or four exposures right just that way because of that so that's why it's so important to do now the other reason why these things are super important to do because if you don't do them Facebook will not show your posts it's a reciprocal algorithm which means if you do what Facebook wants you to do Facebook will reward you with what you want it to do which is share your post to other people you know when you post on Facebook and nobody comments it's not because your post no good is because Facebook didn't show it to anybody nobody saw it so why would they comment if they don't see the post right <coughs> so that's kind of why you have to do that now the next thing that leaders tell you to do is send PMs and friend requests now I don't subscribe to that you know doing that um, in the beginning is not a good idea because you're just going to get burned because you know 90 percent of the PMs you send out nobody's going to reply of course leaders tell you it's a numbers game just keep it up keep it up keep it up eventually it'll work out and they're right it will but it takes a lot of time and a lot of energy and you're burning a lot of potential leads by sending them a message before they know who you are because what will happen is they're going to ignore you they might even block you you know I mean sure you don't care if you're just doing the numbers game but 
Facebook does have uh, limits that they set on you so if you try to send too many messages you're gonna get put in Facebook jail there's all kinds of things that can happen if you do that that's why I don't recommend this right I don't I don't recommend this I mean yes you can do it but you gotta you know um <clears throat> I uh let's just put that at, at the end actually so let's just put I don't I don't recommend this I don't need the x's there okay so I don't recommend this but leaders do tell you to do that because it's one way you get connections and you get connected and if you do it often enough it will eventually work and Facebook has their limits are increased over over time as you do it more and more so you can certainly get to a point where you can send 50 messages per day and get you know one or two people to reply to you which over time adds up right but what if oh, oh my god so sorry but what if why is that there that doesn't need to be there there we go sorry about that that was on the screen uh, I mean it's just the title of the topic but what is it that what's the difference what's the difference what's the difference with the RSPF right reverse social prospecting formula now I'm still kind of documenting or creating what this formula actually or what are the because I'm I'm to me there's three things in the reverse social prospecting formula is you do these things right so this kind of step one is do these activities and step number two is track your content so the reverse social prospecting is number one so three a three-step formula okay number one so let's just say step one <clears throat> step one is do what leaders tell you post comment and reply okay so do num do what leaders tell you about posting and commenting not the sending pms not this part um okay so that's step one step number two is record record your activities so what does that mean is it means record the visits you you go to a profile so you know how many times you visit somebody you know how many times you've commented on their stuff you know how many times they've seen you you can you can know exactly where where you stand with them right and step three is contact them okay so those are the three steps to the reverse social prospecting formula all right so the reverse social prospecting formula is about doing what the leaders tell you to do but you only contact them at the end that's what the real secret is of the reverse social prospecting formula you do the contacting at the end now why does that make a difference <coughs> so the reason it makes a big difference is because they will know like and trust you by the time you contact them can you just imagine just think for a second how good your sales would be your connections your conversations would be if people you didn't contact them unless they already knew and liked and trust you <laughs> that's like it's like you know taking candy uh, what's what's a what's an easy thing I guess taking candy from a kid that's not a nice thing to say but it's an easy thing to do right you just this is taking you know I mean of course you have to be trustworthy you can't be doing this to be like because this is really powerful if you do this this way it's really powerful and you can take advantage of people if you're not honest because uh you know humans will automatically trust somebody if they see them often enough and they're consistent and they're always kind of talking about the same thing they will automatically trust you that's there's no doubt about that so you can take advantage of this and be scrupulous and everything else so now I'm um, hope you're not I hope you don't do this for that reason I hope you're really trust you know you're really honest and you're really selling something that's worth it for them because it does work right so like just 
So, okay, so the part you might be wondering about is how do you record your activities, right? So recording your activities, you can do it on a piece of paper. Obviously, it'd be kind of ridiculous, but you could do it on a piece of paper, in a spreadsheet, in a Word document, whatever mechanism you want. You'd have to record who the person is, what their profile is, and when you visited them, when you commented on their stuff, so you can kind of add it all up and figure out, you know, what where they are and how many times they've seen you in their notifications or in their in their post comments or whatever right but uh, there's that would be kind of kind of silly to have to do that manually right especially if there's something out there that can help now now I do I have created software a while ago that call, that's called active group users it basically gives you the list of the people that you've been engaging with also it starts off with a list of people that are in groups that you want to connect with and it gives you the list and then it tracks these numbers that are here right these are basically the number of times that I visited them number of reaction comments so and this kind of shows right here that Yolanda here I commented on 176 of her posts I and I commented on 168 posts of Jane's right so that kind of lets me know that if I try to have a conversation with Yolanda she's definitely gonna know who I am she's seen my comments and my posts and everything all the time and also this other number here mentions which some are zero like 45 rate mentions that's the number of times that Karen has mentioned me in a comment so whenever she you know you know when you when you post a comment on somebody's post and then the, or when somebody posts a comment on your post and you click the reply right underneath that comment it puts their name on there right so that's a mention so this is how many times Karen has mentioned me now the only reason some of these are zero is because I haven't been uh, that features new relatively new anyways but you, you, as you can see right here can you see you can see this number I have 32,000 leads now these are not all hot leads but if I was to say I would just want to see the hot leads let's just say the hot leads and I can see how many hot leads I have right so the hot leads are people that have seen me often enough that if I have a if I decided to have a conversation with them right and by the way active group users you can get right here activegroupusers.com if you go to activegroupusers.com you can actually get why is this what's going on here you can actually get a free trial 14 days to try this out and see how it works for you but over here when I'm doing this I'm doing a search for all the hot leads I see it's got 237 now there's a uh, oh also because <laughs> because I have it set to six days max so if I was to put that all of my because I it doesn't include anybody that I've visited in the last six days so the tool lets you do all kinds of things uh lets you filter based on whether they're your friend or not whether you're following them or not whether the temperature is hot or cold or not or status is you know whether you contacted them or not things like that and whether you have note there's different things you can do with the, the software the, is it low oh I didn't click the button okay sorry so um but the thing is that this lets you follow the reverse social pricing formula because that formula needs you to know when it's time to have a conversation with somebody now you can always just never contact anybody and wait for them to contact you and that works once you've got a you've built in a reputation and you've had sales and social proof and everything else but when you're starting out nobody's gonna just contact you to buy something from you not very much anyways because they don't have anybody telling them how great you are or whatever right that comes later so that's why you still have to contact people so now if I look at this I got 366 now that's just the number of hot leads which just means that I visited them often enough for the system to know that I, that they are probably a hot lead and that's kind of how you do it you just click on one of these names here right if I click on uh, let's say I go to one that I visited a long time ago so three days ago these are the number of hours ago or days ago that I visited them I can click on load more here to get some more I just want to find somebody who I visited at least six days ago so there's eight days ago so Tina so if I go I click on her name loads up her summary and I can mouse over to any of these things it kind of shows me when I visited the her when I commented on her post and that kind of stuff I can click on her name again it takes me to her Facebook page where I can go and comment on her stuff now I don't have to go through the news feed or anything like that I go straight to her profile and I can you know um like one of her posts and I'll just like that and I'll just say 
what a beautiful I'm having trouble seeing a beautiful uh, bush I don't know if it's a bush uh, beautiful flowers beautiful flowers let's just say beautiful flowers right and then I just post that like this now I can go on and do another another comment but I just then close the tab right here and then I come back here and I say I commented on one post reacted to one post now you don't have to fill that in the next day it'll go and find it but if you want to update it you can do that like this and now it says Tina I visited her just now and these numbers got updated based on the visit so that's kind of how it does so now it knows how many times I visited her it's 44 now instead of 43 which was earlier if you noticed if you're watching the replay go ahead and back up you'll see that it's, it was said 40 43 a second ago but that's kind of how you use active group users to do to follow the uh reverse social prospecting formula right you just the reverse social prospecting formula is step one do what leaders tell you post comment and reply step number two record your activities and step number three contact them once they are hot once they are hot <coughs> that's how you get hot leads and that's how you do it with active group users software all right we'll see you in the next episode this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Ooh. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon. Until next time.